important thing to understand is that we are already in the recession uh, a technical recession according to the rbi RBI typically comes out with a regular monthly bulletin in which it uh, shares with the people uh, all the updates on macroeconomic numbers that it maps and um, what happened this time uh, was that uh, for the November issue the RBI had started something that it used to um, provide uh, long back uh, it has now started providing a state of the economy a monthly state of the economy uh, chapter and this was something that they used to provide um, from the beginning till mid 90s and then they discontinued it and now they have again restarted it and this is very important because it provides um, a real um, quick update on the state of the economy um, for anybody who wants to know uh, and that too coming from uh, rbi's analysis now one of the key elements in such in in such an analysis which is monthly update is that uh, rbi started now doing now casting which is basically looking at the most uh, recently available data and predicting uh, immediate future or very recent uh, uh, macroeconomic data and the most crucial bit in november's bulletin is that uh, rbi has said that india's gdp in the second quarter of this financial year which is uh, which ends uh, which ended in september india's uh, quarterly gdp growth would have uh, uh, come down by 8.6% basically that that means that the gdp would have contracted by 8.6% as many of the uh, viewers might know our uh, gdp had contracted by close to 24% in the first quarter which was april may june and then july august september rbi says that it would contract by 8.6% and it has said that this is going to be this would basically put india into a technical recession now uh, it is because it has already happened so the uh, the idea the, the the important thing to understand is that we are already in the recession uh, a technical recession according to the rbi the thing with technical recession term uh, at one level it's fairly straight forward to understand uh, by te- technical recession in india we mean uh, that your gdp growth contracts for two quarters consecutively two consecutive quarters if the gdp growth contracts then we call it a technical recession for the economy now the reason why it's called a technical recession as against general recession is that there is no uh, well um, there is no universally accepted definition for uh, a recession different economists look at different bits of data and come to that uh, uh, conclusion broadly understood a recession is a tough phase for the economy where economic growth is coming down where total um, uh, gdp that you produce contracts and there is uh, massive unemployment uh, consumption falls uh, those kind of things so all of them go together now because there is no universally accepted definition uh, different people calculate it differently uh, some may look at uh, how the gdp growth per se the absolute amount of gdp is performing from one quarter to another <laughs> some others may look at unemployment um and some others may look at gdp growth rate now what we do in india is we look at the gdp growth rate we look at year on year gdp growth rate first quarter gdp growth rate uh, as compared to what it was last uh, same qu- uh, first quarter in the last year and then the second quarter gdp growth rate again compared to the second quarter last year but not every economy does that not every economist does like that so over time a uh, technical definition because you know it's an empirical issue you have to did we have to finally hunker down and say that okay this is one variable we'll look and this is one vari- variable we'll look over this period of time because how do we know over what period of time are we talking about a recession 
you know does two month of gdp fall constitute a recession it could constitute a recession like we've seen in 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 uh, in the covid era the the dip in economic activity was so sharp and so widespread that you could very justifiably say that the economies across the board went into recession because the dip was so remarkable but there could be phases when the dip is only marginal and only restricted to certain sectors then you might perhaps want to expand the period of time so to get around all these you know ifs and buts and technicalities a, a, a one definition has been accepted as a technical recession definition as the data shows india is not the only one several economies are now in technical recession so here is a crucial thing to understand that when we are talking about this technical recession it india already got into it by september end in this quarter there are all kinds of different estimates many estimates which were made earlier in you know in the previous months um suggested that india would continue to contract in the third quarter which we are in and even in the fourth quarter some have said but as the un, you know lockdowns have been removed and economic activity has uh, improved now there are uh, more and more signs that it is possible for india to perhaps uh, not contract in this particular quarter in in the undergoing uh, in the currently um, in the quarter currently underway which is the october to december quarter and it is a possibility that we may come out of this recession in this quarter itself so it is not very clear how long will it take typically recessions stay for a few quarters um and it takes a while for the economy to um uh, rebound but um, it is uh, very possible that in the third quarter itself as the finance minister uh, nirmala sitaraman has expressed hope that we may be able to come out of the recession in this quarter itself